for the four children who were thrown off the Dauphin Island Bridge by their father. It happened six years ago. Lam Long was convicted and sentenced, but his convictions were overturned. Tonight, the family says it's remembering the precious babies who lost their lives. Afraid I would fall. In song and prayer, with candles held high, a community honors the four children who were killed at the hands of their own father. A pain that is all too real to the family. It, it's hurting her every day. I mean, it's not going to leave or go anywhere anytime soon. So we're just going to have to take it day by day. Several agencies and hundreds of volunteers searched until all four children were found. Hannah was the last to be brought home 144 miles away from the bridge. Tonight, those agencies and volunteers were thanked for their service and for bringing the children home. We need to always remember, as I said, not the evil of this event, but the good that came out of it. And it brought our community together in a way that had not been brought together before. Um, this horrible, tragic event um, really, really shaped this community in a positive way. The children's killer, their own father, Lam Lung, was convicted and sentenced to die in 2009 for the murders of his four children. But that decision was overturned, stating there was too much publicity about the trial in Mobile County. Now the family waits for a ruling. We wish everything was over and done with already, and you know, it's going to bring back all the, a lot of bad memory and everything with the family and you know, stir everything up all again. So We are waiting on the Alabama Supreme Court to issue a ruling. So um, we're hopeful and confident that they will overturn the Court of Criminal Appeals decision and that our conviction will stand. My heart and soul are praising and so united by candlelight, the community stands behind a family, remembering the little ones who lost their lives. Reporting in Viola Battery, Candace Murphy, Fox 10 News. Mobile County District Attorney Ashley Rich says there is no time frame for when the state Supreme Court will make its decision. An elderly man recovering tonight after being hit with his own walking cane and all of this.